now the next question is question number seven okay now we need to focus on this question what exactly this question is asking from us solve problems involving the charge particle okay we are going to use the charge particle the first point we have we have charge okay now the second one placed in a region with electrical potential difference there should be a potential difference second thing what is potential difference that is the delta v okay and apply the law of conservation of energy what is the law of conservation of energy says law of conservation of energy says change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy should be equals to zero okay the net sum of the change in kinetic energy plus potential energy should be equals to zero okay now to relate different energies existing in the system change in kinetic energy i told you and change in potential energy and work done by force means we need to create a relation with the work done also okay as we know if we have the word called potential difference so it is related with potential energy so can i say change in potential energy divided by charge simple formula this is the equation for you and in terms of work done that should be in opposite direction negative w by q okay guys till here clear i just want to before going to start a question i want to say something i want to tell you something very easy way huh? what what exactly you need to understand see energy we have the two things huh? let's say this is a body if you are applying a force to move the body this side okay this is the force and there is the displacement so when the energy you are applying or the work done you are doing that gives you kinetic energy but if you are doing something opposite something opposite to understand now that will give you potential energy so opposite work done is your potential energy and same work done is your kinetic energy that's why they are in opposite direction so if the one we simply says if the kinetic energy increase then potential energy decrease so remember this thing huh? okay now back to the question so what is the question a proton proton means positive charge so guys i'll start from here okay we have the first point given a proton so proton means we have a positive charge clear is placed and the value should be 1.6 multiply 10 raised to power negative 19 coulomb is placed between two parallel conducting plates you know na two parallel conducting plates we have the electric field which is equals to sigma by epsilon naught okay i will write it properly yeah? so e equals sigma divided by epsilon naught two parallel conducting plates in a vacuum okay fine the difference in now the difference in electrical potential difference between the two plate is 450 volts so what is given here second point what is given delta v is equals to 450 volt okay fine the proton is released from rest release from rest so it means third point initial velocity initial velocity which is equals to zero meter per second okay close to the positive plate where it is where the, your proton is just near to the positive plate yes you can see this is your positive plate okay and this is your negative plate fine and charge that positive charge is just near to the plate okay fine what is the kinetic energy easy huh? what is the kinetic energy we need to find out when it reaches the negative plate so guys i told you just try to understand this step again huh? when the kinetic energy increase once the kinetic energy start increasing then what will happen the potential energy start decreasing 
clear so in this question what is happening now the body from the rest it starts moving so kinetic energy starts increasing so now guys we are going to solve this huh? so just use the formula what we have we have the v we have the charge okay now use it so we know as per the law of conservation as per law of conservation what what we know change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy should be equals to zero so can i say kinetic energy is equals to negative of change in potential energy yes or no fine guys easy to understand okay and we know the relationship between this is the first part okay the second part as we know we know uh, delta v is equals to change in potential energy divided by charge with the positive sign so can i replace can i take the potential energy value from here so from this one can we say change in potential energy is equals to q times delta v yes or no can i place it here okay place it now finish so now what we have kinetic energy is equals to negative q times of delta v clear guys so you can solve it in a very easy way you just place the value so kinetic energy is negative 1.6 multiply 10 raised to power negative 19 this is your charge multiply what is the delta v 4 50 okay now just solve this put in a calculator so you will get 7.21 multiply 10 raised to power negative 17 joule clear so there are what we learned we learned the two concepts huh? first law of conservation and how to use the potential and potential energy always remember with potential energy it is positive i will place positive here and with work done just i'm writing again for you huh? so that you can remember delta v positive potential energy divided by q and negative work done because i told you that is in the opposite direction clear guys okay